Welcome, man. Welcome back to the channel. What's popping out there, everybody? Real quick. I ain't said that in a long time. Real quick. Oh, my God. I forgot to check. And my audio, is my audio going out? Is my audio going out? Yes, I see the meters moving. All right, guys, let's get it moving, man. It is freaking 818. I was actually over there checking out uh, the Flat Rate Master. Y'all know the Flat Rate Master, right? Yeah, he right here in Georgia. So it'd be cool to run into him at an automotive event. Uh, here in Atlanta, in the Atlanta area, that's uh, this is car world around here, okay? A lot of car stuff goes on. Car shows are... Uh, car a lot of car stuff so from time to time uh i will bump into these guys okay y'all know uh one the one i really want to bump into is uh motor city mechanic david pikes okay he's in georgia but he's in another part of georgia not so not quite atlanta all right but yeah i would love to bump into that dude uh, flat rate master he's right here in atlanta a whole bunch of them man whoever is here in atlanta <laughs> I let you boy. All right, let's get this thing cracking. What's up, 69 Dark Man? Guy, I'm going to warn you right now. Uh, it's quite a few in here, 30 people in here right now. Listen, I'm going to warn you. All right, don't get caught in your feelings. We finna have some fun on this one right here, all right? I read this article of some of the things. What did I name this video? Something about the things you're doing that you're actually ruining your car. Some of them are freaking hilarious. What's up, duct tape? Yes, some of them are freaking crazy, but uh, we're going to have some fun with them, nevertheless. All right? So don't get in here with that serious stuff, getting caught in your feeling. Oh, this guy play too much. I'm out of here. I'm letting you know right now. We about to play. All right? Y'all know me, man. I like to inject humor into my content. All right? It gives me a chance to be free. I'm a comedian by nature, I think. I'm not actually a comedian, but the way I flow... You would think I'm a comedian. I, now, I have done uh, some comedian shows. Got on stage, told some jokes. Yeah, you know, but uh, got booed here and there. But, you know, we ain't going to worry about all that. Easy does it. What's popping? All right, we're finna go over uh, a few things that uh, you guys are doing to your car. And y'all don't even know it, man. You don't even know. You ruining. You tan. Y'all tan up your car and don't even know you tan it up. Some of this stuff is freaking crazy, but some of them make sense. All right. Uh, what did I name it? Let me do that again. Top 10 things. What did I say? What did I say? No, not that. Not that. Uh-uh, not that. This is what I want right here. All right. Uh, top 10. No, not even top 10. Just things you do that might be shortening the life of your car. In other words, the stuff y'all doing out there. What's happening, Chris? The stuff, Chris. Some of the stuff you're doing to your car, Chris. Uh, I don't know if you knew it or not, but uh, you're shortening the life of your car. All right, we're going to get into a couple of them right now. All right, uh, for starters, owning a car is a big responsibility. We all know that, right? In addition to paying it off, you have to make sure it's properly maintained. We all aware of that, right? Everybody's out there properly maintaining their cars. What I mean by that is you're getting the oil changer done on time. You're getting your coolant flush done on time. Differential, if it's a rear-wheel drive transmission service, if it's even possible. I know some of y'all are scared. <laughs> it's filled for life. We ain't supposed to touch it. No. Get out of here with that. All right. Uh, so long as y'all maintaining your stuff uh, on time, change the oil regular, wash it properly, and avoid potholes, uh, some of the normal stuff. Uh, if you're not doing these uh, and a slew of other things we list here, you may be shortening the life of your car. Chris, what you knew? What's up, Aiden? All right. Here's one, man. Uh, doing when uh, driving when your wheels are improperly aligned. Guys. I don't know if y'all know this, but that is bad on your car, okay? What you're doing by continuing to drive with your car out of the line is you are shortening the life of your car. All right? Yeah. Pretty self-explanatory, right? All right. It's a couple of more here. Many people neglect to properly align their vehicle. I don't know about you, but I got a whole video that I'm going to dedicate to alignment because alignment is overrated and it is not overrated to a certain extent. Because I'm in the automotive repair industry, it's hard for me to say what I really want to say. If I ever retire or get out of doing working on cars in a shop, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna do a tell-all. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna tell. I'm gonna do a tell-all. All right, not not out of spike as to get back at the automotive industry, but there's some things that just if common sense kick in, we will know. I'm gonna leave that at that. Right, I'm gonna leave that. What's up, Uncle Mark in the building? Uh, yes. Um. Uh, Uncle Mark, stop doing these things I'm mentioning right now, or you is shortening. That's the new keyword for the day, guys. Say it with me on three. One, two, three. Shortening 
you are shortening the life of your vehicle. In other words, you are cutting back on time. It was designed to be here on Earth. Earth. Is an F in Earth? No. Earth. No. No F. The F is silent. Moving right along. All right. Hidden potholes. That's another one, guys. By continuing to hit potholes, you are essentially shortening the life of your vehicle. That is because a vehicle suspension is designed uh, to soften road imperfection. All right. So, but there are some bumps. I need my glass. There are some bumps that are too large for it to support. And while it can be challenging to avoid every single pothole you come across, it's a good idea to be on the lookout for them. In other words, if you're driving in an old country town, uh, be on the lookout for them potholes because keep in mind, guys, you do not want to be shortening the life of your car. Let's go to another one, man. What's up, Aiden? Uh, using the wrong grade of food fuel. Oh, okay. Uh, what do they mean by that? Because the typical car is designed for 89, right? Uh, you would not damage your car by going 93. I don't get Let's read some of this stuff, what they're saying. It can be tempting, guys, to fill your car gas tank with cheap. Okay, they're saying if you your car is designed to use higher octane fuel, and you, in essence, using lower octane. Yes, you are essentially shortening the life of your car. So stop it. Stop doing that crazy. Stop it. All right. However, using less than premium fuels can lead to costly engine damage in the long run. If your vehicle manufacturers recommend premium grade of fuel, you should not be using regular fuel. Uh, it's a recipe for disaster. This practice can lead to driving problems and warning lights, neither of which you want to experience. So, guys, I don't think you can go backwards. In other words, I don't think your car is designed for 89. By going up, you're going to hurt it. Just the opposite. Uh, if it's designed to run off higher octane fuel, going backwards, you can damage it. All right. So all you high power uh, car owners, don't do that. All right. Neglecting to wash your car. How on earth is uh, that will be considered shortening the life of your car by neglecting to wash it? I don't know. Let's freaking find out, I guess. Many people put out uh, washing, put off washing their cars because they know it's simply going to get it dirty again. However, it's very important to wash your vehicle regularly for a couple of different reasons. I want to know these reasons. One, okay, it protects the paint. Yeah, I never thought about that, guys. That's true. Washing your car it will essentially protect the paint or make it last long. All right. Uh, two, it reduces the odd that it will rust. Wow. I'm serious now, guys. Uh uh. Wait a minute. I got to go big. I literally uh, never gave that much thought. Did y'all see that? Did y'all hear that? Uh, by washing your car. Now, you won't, you won't shorten the, <laughs> you won't shorten the life of your car by not washing it. Okay, you just maybe could add to its value by washing it. Okay, you see what the article said. Uh, you will protect the paint by washing it, number one, and you can prevent rust from forming by washing it. So basically, what they're saying technically is not gonna shorten the life of it. Oh, they twisted me in knots here. It's not gonna shorten the life, but it will. Yeah, you get the picture. Okay, all right, let's stay focused. What's the next one? Washing your vehicle with dish soap? Who the hell do that? All right. I bet that's some 69 dark man has done one time. Hard to miss potholes driving in Atlanta. Oh, man, you got that right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is not a good idea to be washing your car with that uh, uh, dough, that joy you got in there in the sink, in the kitchen sink. All right, you done ran out of car wash soap. Hey. Go give me that joy off this kitchen sink. No, man, that's not a good idea. This lady having a ball. All right, dishwashing liquid is meant to break down oil, grease, and food, but it's not designed for car paint, clear coat, or wax. Instead, it will ooh, it will strip off the wax and essentially oils used in paints and sealant that provide UV protection. In other words, don't freaking do it because you are in essence shortening the life of your car. Don't wash your damn car with no dishwashing liquid, man. What is wrong with y'all? Damn. <sighs> okay, soap specifically designed for car washing removes dirt, grease, but leave the surface wax and oil, which are designed to protect the paint. These products are all, I'm a pass on that word. I'm really not there right now, uh, which is better for the environment. All right, here's another one. 
that you guys need to stop doing or else you're essentially shortening the life of your car. What's up, Philip Davis? JT, I wanted to ask Casey of her gasket seal. Give me a second, Philip. Let me get right through this. And I'm coming straight to the comments. Buying cheap, wrong, or discounted part. Okay, now we're talking car stuff here. Guys, if your car is designed to run off uh, split fire spark plugs, <laughs> I don't know of any that's designed for that. That is a crappy spark plug. Or oh, Champion. Let's pick on Champion. No, I like Champion. Let's pick on Motocraft, something forward. Your car is designed, off, is designed to run off a certain spark plug, and you not use that spark plug. According to this article, you basically shortening. Don't wash with a sponge. Whole saying in it. Oh, really? Interesting. Okay, what's up, Turbo Tom? Uh, yes, guys. Spark plugs. Uh, don't shorten the life of your car by using the wrong plug. Some drivers do their own vehicle maintenance and try to cut corners by using cheap, incorrect, substandard parts and fluid. This is not a good idea. For example. You need to be sure that you use the right viscosity or oil when you do an oil change. All right. Instead of buying, <laughs> instead of buying what's on sale, use what your car is designed to use. Also, when you're shopping for spark plugs, make sure you have a correct heat range. As for fuel and air filters, choose brands that you know and that are OEM uh, or better. Okay. That makes damn good sense, guys. Uh, that's pretty much a common, right? At least it should be to mechanically inclined personnel such as everybody in here top top of the evenings to you sir brian chudzik what's going on all right here go another one guys forgetting to clean under the hood now hold on how on earth <laughs> i forget that all the time am i shortening the life of my pt cruiser because i forget to clean under the hood hogwash all right let's entertain this foolishness right quick guys many car owners realize that the exterior of their vehicle should be clean on a regular basis but they forget to clean under the hood guys stop it it's important to do so because over time sludge and debris can build up on the engine it's unsightly and potentially damaging how so start hear me what's up man this this blah, 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 can shorten your engine lifespan which over time will cost you money that's why keeping the engine clean is just as important as washing the roof hood and wheel all right that makes sense guys um uh, I bet everybody in here, everybody in here, I don't give a damn who you are, uh, got it, under your hood is filthy, dirty, uh, grease, degree, uh, grease, or just what have you, because it's just something we just don't regularly watch, wash, okay, uh, yeah, I don't know, but according to this article, uh, that's not a good idea, guys, so we might want to stay on top of that, all right? Uh yeah, many car owners. Okay, resting your hand on the shift knob. That is a bad idea. Wait a minute. You are shortening your life by resting your hand. This is, I assume, under the assumption you have a stick shift, right? That is crazy. That is not a good idea. You see this? what this lady doing? She just resting, chilling. Now, how is that bad? How would that shortening... Waiting for disaster to happen. How will that uh, shorten the life of your car? I don't think they recommend you spray washer in engine bay and get all the electronic. Yeah, so what, that's what I'm saying, uh, uh, Uncle Mark. <laughs> so, man, some, of these, some of these articles are entertaining. That's why I put a smiley face on a, a thumbnail because we're going to have some fun with this. All right, let's talk about why you shouldn't rest your hand on the ship to knob. Not many new cars are sold with a manual transmission these days, but there are still some drivers who prefer a stick to an automatic. That is true. All right. Plus, there are plenty of vintage enthusiasts who drive vehicles with manual transmission. But one no no, but one no no when it comes to these cars is resting your hand on the shift knob. Although it may feel natural to do so, this can cause premature wear and tear to your transmission component. That's how specific they get. You hear that, Fluff Dog? Fluff Dog ain't got no manual transmission. Fluff, Fluff a young mechanic. It, oh, okay, he probably he, he know how to drive a stick, I'm sure, because he work on manual transmission, automatic transmission. Mechanics are almost forced to know how to operate things on a car. All right, guys, I we had a porter. They sent him around to get a car. He came back in the shop. Hey, JT, come here. Can you pull this up front? You do it. It's a stick, okay? Now, we don't really screen, guys. I think that's what they, what's the word they call it uh, when you 
not giving somebody a job because they can't do some. You ain't supposed to do that. It's illegal, I guess. Well, anyway, he can't drive a stick. Uh, I don't know. The boss didn't think to ask him that. Now, would the boss have not hired him had he knew that? I don't know, guys. There are some young men out there, uh, yeah, that don't know how to drive a stick. And uh, it's not their fault, okay? They just haven't been exposed to it yet. Somebody has not stepped up to train them or show them how to do it. Because hear me out. Once you learn how to do it, it's stuck with you for life. You're not going to ever forget it. So that's one thing I feel like I failed as a father. I did not get a chance to teach my daughter how to drive a stick. Okay. Yeah. The cobot. What? The cobot. SS. It's a five speed. Oh, so, okay. Do you see what this lady doing? Please tell me you're not resting your hand on that shifter. Because according to this article, one Mr. Fluffy Mexicanic, uh, right here. This can cause <laughs> look how broad that is. That's as deep as they're gonna get it. This can cause premature wear and tear to your transmission component. So if you're doing that, stop it! Stop it! Stop the madness! Do not rest your arm on the damn shifter knob. <sighs> y'all trying to really shorten the life of y'all car, aren't you? What's up, Jason? Best anti-theft. Ah, oh, I've heard that before. Hey, appreciate the donation, Fluffy Mexican. That's what's up, man. That stuff goes back into the channel, my dude. Jason, I hear this all the time, man. <laughs> Unfortunately, our uh the Mopar Hellcats and Chargers and things like that. Uh yeah, some of them equipped with a stick. Some of them are actually equipped with a stick. That would be interesting to see if uh thieves are still in those, but um, <laughs> The best anti-theft device on the planet. <laughs> All right, stop it. That is not uh that is not funny, man. Ask me what I learned, what car I learned to drive. What you learn? What car you learned to drive a stick in 11 years old or 11 years ago? Okay, this should be interesting. Uh which vehicle? No, he was 11 years old. That's what it say. Don't say 11 years ago. Uh Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. The shift is a hand rest. No, man. Where's my picture at? Where that lady going? Fluffy, that is bad, man. You see what she doing? You can't do that, bro. Bro, you are, <clears throat> what they say, this can cause premature. You see this thing I got highlighted right here? This can cause, what? A PT Cruiser? You lying. <laughs> yes, there are some five-speed PT Cruisers out there. But this can cause premature wear and tear to your car, ladies and gentlemen. That is not cool. Uh. <laughs> that's not funny man uh at least you learn okay um uh, yes anybody raising children these days please uh find a way to train your offsprings how to drive a stick all right it is extremely embarrassing when a thug come up to me a thug his pants hanging down he even got a gun you know in georgia it's okay to carry right so hey fluffy i walk around in a shop full of mechanics packing why the hell the world come to, man? Everybody in the shop got a piece except me. Now I got to go get me one because I don't want to be the only one to get. I don't know, man. Let me stop playing like that. But, yeah, the damn porter, a thug with a piece in his back pocket and his hat on backwards and his pants sagging. He go out there to get a car and find out it's a stick and he can't drive it. I'm like, what kind of killer is you, man? What kind of thug is you? You can't be a thug. And not know how to drive a manual transmission. What the hell is going on? <sighs> this is lost generation. Sometimes it seems like. Uh, that's a good car, man. Don't 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 make fun of the. Uh, I think it was a 2008. Uh, it was a 03, 03, 04. Yeah, that sounds about right. First gen, first gen. Uh, first gen had the uh, the sticks in them. Uh, her shift boot is ripped. I didn't see that. Hey guys, let's do two more of these, okay? Let's uh, letting your car sit too long. Oh, guys, oh, my goodness, that is a way that you are shortening the life of your car. You need to run your vehicle regularly, guys. If you let it sit too long, the battery would die, and the tires will eventually become mishappen. That is wrong with my truck. That's why my truck keep dry hot rotten. My truck tires keep dry rotting. I never drive that thing until I'm trying to, it's time to do a scrapyard run. Oh, yeah, and stale gasoline. I did have to su siphon out the gas to go in with some new gas one time. So this is a good one, guys. Out of all the ones I've read so far, this is a good one. 
hear me out. Letting your car sit too long without regularly running it is a bad thing. Okay. And that's simply because, let me name off a few. You need to run your vehicle regularly. I'm going to make this a short video. Uh, if you let it sit too long, guys, the battery will die. The tires will eventually dry rot. Plus, stale gasoline can wreak havoc on your engine. All of that is true. I have experienced every last single all of those. If possible, store your vehicle in an indoor location. If you won't be driving it for a while, wash it to protect the paint, overfill the tires, and soak some mothballs in peppermint to prevent rodents from getting inside of it. All right. They lost me with all that. But however, what you talking about, Jason? 1983, legal all-wheel drive, 96 prior owner thought it was a bad head gasket. It was the front aluminum block and thermostat housing fail. Took a month to get, dang. On a 1983? Jason, you going too far back for all these youngsters in here, man. You know Fluffy Mexicanic in here. He don't know nothing about no damn 1983. Y'all know the old cars I uploaded over the past week. Uh, a lot of you guys were like, I had one guy commenting. Uh, he got a, a timing light, a dwell meter, a tachometer, or everything for that car. All right, we're going to do two more, and then we're going to wrap this up. All right, according to this article, guys, driving your car in the fast lane? No, driving fast all the time <laughs> can, shortening, can shorten the life of your car. All right, let's see why, because this don't make sense to me. We get it. Some people like to drive fast. Obviously, there's a time and a place to do so. But there are other reasons why you should take your time and not drive like a speed demon. Why? Tell me why. The problem is that repeated acceleration and braking is really bad for your suspension and tires. Wow. Freaking wow. Ladies and gentlemen, they got a point. I'm sorry. I was laughing at this at first, but no, they got a freaking point. Let me continue. Both will wear down prematurely. So if you want to avoid costly repairs, try to curb your excessive speed. I don't think driving 80 miles an hour on a freeway going to damage your suspension. That's called highway driving. In fact, customers want to know how a car accumulates so many miles. Was it highway driving or city driving? All right. This article lost me right there. All right. So one more, baby. One more. Ignoring the squealing sound. All right. That don't sound interesting. Let's see. Not keeping up with regular oil change. That's a good one. That would definitely shortening. <laughs> that would definitely shorten the life of your car. Driving in cold. All right, we'll do the other. We'll do the other five next week, guys. <laughs> Cause uh, yeah, I use these for my Thursday content. All right. Uh, it seems like there's ten more. I don't want to go through all of them now. But I just went over ten things you guys should stop doing. Uh, because if you continue, you are in essence shortening the life of your car. And this is one a lot of you guys did not know about. That is bad. Resting your arm on the machine, on the stick shelf. Please don't do that. Don't be, uh, you know, don't don't be a knucklehead, all right? Now, let me get to the comment and do some catching up. I'm behind. It's 840 freaking one. Uh, what's up? I already spoke to everybody, right? Chris, Aiden, Dark Man, Turbo Town, Uncle Mark in the building, Dark Hemi, uh, Philip Davis. I wanted to ask, do a case seal here. Can anybody? Hey, JT, I wanted to ask a uh, case here. My, I'm fit to just start to show signs of head gasket leaking. And I tried it for the first time. So far, no white smoke. Case seal head gasket sealer. I have no experience with those head gaskets me mechanic in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Number one, the reason why I don't is because I don't work on nothing that old. Uh, now, yeah, you can own stuff like that and, and uh, tackle this stuff yourself. But it's hard for me to speak on something I have never used. All right. So I will be giving you blind. I'll be I'll be giving you my opinion, but it, would, it won't be worth anything because I can't say that I ever use KCL. Oh, it worked great, man. Oh, go get it. No, I never use any kind of additives. I call this stuff mechanic in a can because they promise you the world and they don't deliver at least some of them. Now, from my understanding, a lot of people are not specifically following the instructions. That video I did with the Jeep, all that, stop, stop leaking it. A lot of guys in the comment had that guy follow the instructions on the back of the can, warm the car up, open the radiator, pull this in there, and wait. Obviously, he didn't do any of that. That stuff formed right at the top, and it's clogged up port. 
My point is, if you're going to use mechanic in a can, uh, follow the instructions. That you, you stand a better chance of a successful repair. <laughs> I just don't have any kind of experience. I'm totally against that. Now, you ask for my opinion. I'm not suggesting that you don't use it because I'm against it. I am, however, stating that I have never used it because I'm against it. All right. It just, I don't know. It seemed like a waste. I mean, what kind of liquid can a company make that will fill in that space? Just say a head gasket is blown. Chunks of a head gasket is missing because it's blown. Now, what kind of chemical solutions can you pull in your cooling system that would make its way to that blank space that's missing from that blown head gasket? I'm just talking hypotheticals right now. And that, are that chemicals supposed to fill in that blank space temporarily? All right? No, no, not temporarily. On the damn can, it says guaranteed for life <laughs> or your money back. And some of them say double your damn money back. I'm like, you telling me you give me double what I paid for this if this don't work? Nobody ever go through with it. That's why they can make those ridiculous ass claims. Triple your money back. We'll give you four times your money back if you buy this. Oh, that means it's gonna work. I'll buy it. Matter of fact, give me two. You put that crap in, you put that stuff in your car. <clears throat> First of all, you done took the can and chunk it, right? Because you're done with it, right? I think in order to get triple your money back, you gotta bring the cans. Look, here's the can. I bought it. It didn't work. I won't triple my money back, AutoZone. Well, you gotta talk to Casey, bro. We ain't got nothing to do with that. That ain't Ain't got nothing to do with us. You call Casey. You get on the phone. Casey are gone. They done went out of business because everybody done sued their ass because they done promised people the world. Mechanic in a can, I'm just no fan. Damn. That rhymed, didn't it? I'm about to use that on a short video. I got to quit. Let me stop. Uh, Philip, I'm sorry, man, if that didn't work out for you. Uh, yes, I am so against that, but uh, I have no opinion on it because – I have never used it. I apologize. Pink Flakes, $69, man. Philip, it holds for a while. There you go. It holds for a while depending on how bad the leak is. Interesting. On the can, does it ask how big the leak is? Yeah. I must be way behind because you guys are, uh, I'm talking about stuff. We don't all talk about I'm a bitch. You said my name right. <laughs> Brian Chuzik. Uh, dark, uh, waiting for disaster to happen. Yeah, Fluffy makes a candy. Appreciate the donation, bro. That's what's up. All right. I see something that triggered my fancy. Only, okay, 3-6 Pinnacle Star backs the performance. All filled with it. What's your thoughts? I've never used one. Uh, got to understand something about Jay Twizzle the car gizzle. JT the car guy. All right. I... Not an additive guy, obviously, right? I just I just spoke on that. Uh, and I'm not a added performance parts to a car guy either. All right. I'm one of those guys it, it depends on where I'm at, actually, but I'm one of those guys that like OEM. I'm like a a nerd OEM guy. Nope. Whatever the engineers say it use. My point is, I have no opinion on it because I've never off-fit adapter. And what's your thought? Yeah, I'm. I, and I'm straight. When it comes to off-fit adapter housing, I'm straight OEM. Okay, I crack a lot about the the aluminum one that Dermot made. <laughs> I know somebody gonna get in the comments. It's not Dermot. It's not freaking Dermot. Where you gonna get it, dude? One guy cussed me out. He's like, dude, if you say Dermot one more time. I'm going to delete you or I'm going to uh, unsubscribe. I'm like, why are you telling me you Why don't you just unsubscribe? Because I am I say, my point is, there's a there's a reason for everything. Let me put it like that. But one guy, this, this is really, he like, I can tell by the way he was typing and coming. like, oh, my God, if you say Dermot one more time, it's not freaking Dermot. I'm like, bro. It's Dermot. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm rubbing it in. Because, you know, who the hell he think he is going to tell me how to say what I want to say? I say what I want to say, how I want to say. It's Dermot. What? What's up? It's Dermot. What you going to do? 
making me stop, man. Y'all turning me to a damn kid. Y'all making me sound unprofessional. Y'all know. I, I have no no thoughts on that, my guy. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't want to leave you hanging, but I, Jeremy Gaines. I'm an OEM guy. Plastic and all. The thing about it, that's what people fail to realize, and they'll yell out, but it's plastic. Yes, it's plastic. Uh, it's revised plastic. It's still plastic at the end of the day. I get that part. The thing that turns me on about it's not that it turned me on. The, 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 the reason I much rather use OEM. Okay, I, I'll let this out. Uh, I'll discuss this. It's a live stream. I can discuss stuff. Uh, the reason I'm all for the OEM, even though it's plastic, it's simply because when they built the car, when engineers designed the car, all right, they had all that in mind about how much coolant need to come to that area, how much oil need to come to that area. In other words, flow, flow specs. In other words, specs in general, okay? Flow rate, things like that. That stuff matters, okay? That stuff matters. And when these aftermarket companies jump on the bandwagon, they see a quick dollar, we'll just make an aluminum one. If they don't know, it's like the Colonel's chicken, his secret recipe. If they don't know specifically precise the measurements the specs the flow rate they're just going to take a wild guess based on their knowledge about an engine and you can get away with that you can pull that off that is no you you might not ever have a problem by the one the numbers you chose okay it might only want a quarter of a millimeter coming into it from the cooling side and uh just a little bit coming from the oil side Aftermarket companies don't know this stuff perfectly from the, from the, you see what I'm trying to say? In other words, like I say, yes, they can design an oil cooler. They can make one. It's just that something may be off based on their lack of knowledge of the correct amount of whatever it is they're trying to guess at. Now, you think they can call headquarters, uh, Yes, I need to speak to Mr. FCA. I need to speak to whoever run the damn 36 Pentastar headquarters. Uh, we're designing our own aluminum oil filter cooler, and we need the specs. We need the correct specs, flow rate, all of that good stuff. Man, we ain't telling you nothing, man. Get the hell out of here, man. What we look like telling you our secrets? Get out of here. We making a plastic one with the correct specs. Now, uh, as for failure, yes, guys, I get it. I'm not a... I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a realist. Over time, that plastic will, you know, what I'm saying, as it heat up over time, it will possibly crack. But we're talking way down the line. All right. And we, in other words, you likely will never play. You likely will not even own the car when it's time for you to replace that again, because the time to replace it again is going to be so far down the line. Now, how can you predict that? Predict that, JT? Who the hell are you? You think you know everything? No, I don't. I will say this, though. Everyone that I have replaced, I have never replaced again. I I mean, now I hear, I hear success stories about the Dermot oil cooler. I hear crap stories about it. Oh, I had to replace it again two weeks later. Why? Because it was leaking. Why? Because it was overheating. Why? There's a number of reasons that may boil down to the fact that those crucial measurements those crucial flow rate that crucial how much oil is supposed to go in at the same time as coolant remember oil and coolant is traveling throughout that thing at the same time and if that stuff if something ruptures inside of that and that those two fluids end up mixing it's going to look like you got a blown head gasket <laughs> yes uh that hasn't happened on oem coolers the original coolers though all right so i get it Yes, it's still plastic over time, over a longer period of time now that it has been revised. It's basically tougher plastic. Designed better. I'm personally, I don't knock anybody that don't use OEM. People like try to rub it in. Sorry, JT. I like you, but I ain't using that plastic shit. Nah, I'm I'm Dermot, dog. I'm Dermot. I'm going with Dermot. But we still cool, though, right? We still cool. Why guy want to make sure we still like 
JT, I'm sorry, man. I love you to death, man, but I, I can't I can't do it, though. I can't do it. Dermot, dog. Dermot. Dermot over here, dog. I know you owe him and all, but is we still cool? We still see our... Yeah, we cool, man. I love you like a stepbrother, man. What's up? We cool. Use what's best for you or use what you think going to achieve the best results. When I speak on my opinion, that's all it is, my opinion. You're not obligated to use what I use or do what I do. I This is my channel, and I'm required to offer my opinion on certain things. Do with it what you will. I'm out of time. Damn. Uh, who the hell led me on that ridiculous rant? Thanks a lot, Jeremy. Uh, you know, ruin all my time. Okay, the shift and the hand rest. Right, I gotta stay ready to change the gear. Stay ready to change the gear. All right, it's nine o'clock. I'm going to the bottom, man. Uh, Jeremy got me all jacked up. Y'all get get mad at Jeremy for that. Uh, that Dermot oil pan had all the right fitment specs. Oh. <laughs> I just thought about what you talk about. Oh man, uh, that oil pan fiasco, dog. Uh, and you got y'all know what's crazy about those videos? That was actually real time. As I'm pulling that pan, I'm looking at comments. One guy cussing me out. Just take he was hollering. J JT, you dummy, just take the it's removable. But only thing is the one the the the, the nipple that gold plugs into the cooler. You can't take the original one out of the original oil pan because it's built into it. They, I don't know how they did it. That's the original OEM cool. Um, so y'all know the ending results. I ended up doing something we should have did in the beginning. Y'all know how that go. Uh, but we don't want to go there, man. What's up, Mr. Jonathan, uh, two one one. Uh, yeah, Jeremy, what's up, man? You good, man? You good, man? It might have it that 307. It was a problem. What are we talking about? I missed some friends. Mom had a 77. I think it was a 305 Chevy engine in it. She got a check and extended warranty because of the engine. She never had a problem with it, but they had to offer compensation when people found out they got a Chevy in their Pontiac. Ooh, righty. All right, so this is what we're going to do. JT almost hit a few bars. Mechanic in a can. <laughs> hey, man, that's going to be a short video, man. Uh, yeah, uh, mechanic in a can. I'm not a fan. I'm not. Okay, I can't. I don't. It's got to make sense. Stuff got to make sense to me. Like, if it, even if it doesn't get to the point where it don't make sense, I'm like, I, I, it's still like, how how is this liquid going to create that space where the head gas could blow and fix the car? Like, that don't make sense to me. <laughs> and now, somebody had tried to explain to me how you can buy a can of stop leak or stop leak, all right? The fluid is designed to soften the seals, whatever is originally there, so that's supposed to stop the leak. This stuff in this can, mechanic in the can, is supposed to get to that seal and soften it up and help it seal better. That way, the leak stop. At some point, laws of physics should come into play. Like, dee -dee 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 -dee. you're telling me if I pull this liquid solution in my crankcase it's gonna make its way to those seals and that hard ass old seal that's leaking because it's just old and worn out this is gonna magically rejuvenize that seal and make it seal wait a minute who the hell you think you're talking to so my point is stuff gotta make sense for me let me stop playing and uh fooling around do a video on what uh doc hear me what are you talking about man what caused so much water to come uh out of an exhaust and not a head gasket. What causes so much water to come out? Y'all see that short video I just put up uh, talking about that one little car? <laughs> well, I wasn't talking about it. I was just showing uh, that one little car with uh, spitting out all that uh, all that water. My shorts game been on point, man. Ever since Fluffy Mexican told me how to hook up them thumbnails. Uh, man, and it's easy. Fluff, the thing about those... Uh, a short thumbnails, it's so easy now, all right? Unfortunately, if I knew this, what, six, seven, eight months ago, we in a slump now. YouTube in a slump in September and things, months like that, they're in a slump. But when I was getting those 20K per shorts videos, these thumbnails would have took those up to 40K maybe, each one, all right? So, but yeah, uh, this video right here, 
uh the guy was at the gas station i gotta be careful too man somebody somebody gonna snap on me one day i pulled my i didn't got to the point where i pulled my camera out on them what you gonna do i saw a guy at the gas station out here oh where you going yeah you just pull up i whipped out my phone wait wait don't give me the footage i see me a touch video i just i talk oh, yeah that's how you do look at that so so and it happened to be a guy i know eric I, uh yeah we all think uh he got on uh, see i can't just yell out blown head guess, because i don't think jt review your old thumbnail i can't uncle mark especially on short uh, because i made the thumbnail on the phone it's a galaxy thing all you iphone users i'm sorry i'm sorry but uh i can look at a galaxy too in fact he showed me how to do it so he got that one but yeah this car is uh running oil Busy part. This is the car, guys. Uh, I spoke on having pride and taking pride in your work. A co worker did an office of death house on this. Unfortunately, it leaked so bad, all that oil is sitting at the bottom of this engine, sitting at the bottom of these cradle. You can never get all of that out, right? Now, there's no leaks now, but that stuff is still trickling down from once before. The mechanic didn't clean anything off. So the customer went home. And she back saying she got another oil leak. No, it's not another oil leak. It's all residual oil that's hitting the ground. And I can't, even though, even if I steam clean it, I already use four cans of brake cleaner to try to clean it up. Went to test drive it, it's still coming out of the chance area. In other words, all, a lot of that oil got caught in the bell housing, and it's just going to work its way down over time. So we don't have to fix the customer, not the car. There's nothing wrong with the car. All right. Uh, so, yeah. That's Hey man, yeah, yeah, don't do YouTube. Hey, but the way I was doing it, uh, it took too long. Yeah, I was like, hell with this, it's taking too long. I need these short time now. Yeah. And I can only do that on the PC. But since you showed me that way, I got the same Galaxy S21 you got, the old one. Uh, yeah, so. Oh, uh, Colleen, how you know I want everybody to know that? Colleen, so cool. How you doing, my friends? Uh, thanks for tuning in. Yes, uh, ladies and gentlemen, your boy got a birthday. I don't, I don't, I ain't the type to celebrate birthdays. So that's why I couldn't bring it up. Uh, it's another day older and deeper in debt. And thanks to Big Mouth Colleen and Guy Jordan, as you all know this. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing, Colleen. You're my friend to the end. Oh, what are talking about? I don't know. Um, yeah, short game point, guys. So let me get out of here. I got a whole boy. I put out. I upload at least three shorts a day, and uh, that is it's no effort at all, guys. If you guys are content creators and you sleeping on short videos, who are you doing yourself a disservice? Easy. Just talk for fifty seconds. And wind it down for those last 10. Bam, you in them. I didn't even know what to say. When I saw this truck pull on the drive, my mind started running. Okay, damn, what am I saying? What am I saying? What am I saying? What am I talking about? What am I talking about? By the time I hit record, it just naturally came. <laughs> it just started regurgitating stuff. Uh, but yeah, hop on these shorts, man. Uh, this customer right here, she turned out to be a lucky customer because, Colleen, uh, why are we still offering? <laughs> this lady had a 2007 or 2008 caravan she still got the lifetime warranty and she wanted her engine and then you know what she got one we put a brand new engine in her car i don't know if it was brand new but we put another engine in her car just because she still have the lifetime powertrain warranty do y'all believe that on the 2007 there's still a few trickling out there so i made this video i just essentially called a customer lucky because damn it that's what she is she got a whole entire engine I'd be up there tomorrow. All right, that's what's up. Uh, you ain't gonna recognize nobody but me, Eric, Charles Boone, and a couple of others. Uh, but yeah, I felt like you had a birthday, bro. It's already been. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I, I just don't like. I don't. I'm not a birthday guy. You know, I'm a lame man. Y'all don't know me. Y'all think I'm cool and flashy and all. You know, suave and all, but I'm lame as hell, man. All right, we done. It's 9 o'clock, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate you guys uh, tuning in. These shorts are off the chain. 
I got more shorts to upload. I got more main videos to upload. And uh, I got more work to do, man. This is my thing. This is my future, man. I am going to make this YouTube thing work, okay? I uh, Turning wrenches is physically becoming hard on a, you know, as you age, you don't want to use your hands. You want to use your brains, all right? That'd be up there, bro. Yes, stop by and see your boy. Uh, you might not recognize me, Colleen. I got a lot of muscles now, and I got a lot of hair on my head, so you might you might think I'm somebody else, but uh, you you still remember my initials, so don't don't pay no attention to the muscles, all right? Just just look at the face, and you'll be able to recognize me. This is JT with a lot of muscles and a lot of hair. Uh, twist. Yes, it's my real hair. <laughs> I got real hair, ladies and gentlemen. This ain't no damn booty or bow tape. Let me stop. I gotta go. I'm done, Colleen. You missed the uh, you missed the uh, you missed the show, girl. All this stuff probably applied to you. I went over ten things. How do you think I get paid? <laughs> uh, as well, she should. No, she, uh, Colleen. Lifetime, guys. A uh, 2007. Back in 2007, we had a plan. We offered a lifetime warranty powertrain. Now, when they offered that, no way in hell did they suspect ten. 15, 13 years later that uh, somebody would still have a freaking car. You know? Now, I bet the guy that offered that plan, he probably ain't with the company corporation no more. He probably, he done got all his money. But uh, the guys that's in, in the office now going, who the hell is this trying to turn in? The, what dealer is this trying to turn in a claim or looking for authorization for an engine on a 2007 model? Now, I have seen them at some point just say, no, no, that car regular as hell. How much you want for the car? They'll just get a customer whatever the car is worth, all right? But some customers are like, no, I want my car. When it's back in 2007, you said forever. Honor your warranty, damn it. I want a new motor. I be damned. She got a new motor. How do you think I get paid? <laughs> so uh, on that note, guys, I have to... Uh, bro, you removed your cash app. No, I didn't. Did I? I don't know. No, because I still get hit on my cash app at least three times a day. Y'all know I had to um, activate the cash app feature for the guys that can't wait to get it. A lot of guys would get on the comment section and ask me a, an extremely important technical question. As if I don't have a freaking day job. No, I don't be at work on my phone looking at questions and answer. No, I got to work. And then I get to it. But some guys need this information right now, 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 now. So I had to utilize a way for you to get in touch with me now, now, now. Unfortunately, I had to use a donate feature, okay? I created a link where you click. You need to get in touch with me right now. You click it. It's going to take you to a PayPal or a Cash App feature where you are not required, but you are asked forcefully <laughs> to donate $20, all right? With, you know what that dude, that guys, I play a lot, but that just lets me know you're serious, okay? So if you're willing to donate $20 to the channel, I mean, you can get at me right then and now. And that thing go off three times. I Three times a day at least I'm answering questions. And these ain't no joke. These are technical questions that people want my opinion on. Uh, what do you think I should do, man? I, I still hear the ticking noise. All right, you need to do this, do that. Sometimes I got to pull up some information and torque spets things like that some one guy couldn't find a torque spec i had to go find it for him i have no problem with that but at least you can like and, and that ain't nothing to some people and one guy did it um uh, three days in a row i'm like bro you don't have to do it you know but uh no big deal man i appreciate your help man he just wanted <laughs> one guy utilized that feature i promise you just to talk what's up man you 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 really jt the car guy what's up man yeah, man, what's going on? What's your question? What you got? What you got? What's wrong? Oh, nothing, man. I just want to call and see what you were doing, man. How you doing, big dog? You know, <laughs> I'm like, $20. Let me keep talking to this dude. I'm all right, man. How you doing, man? You got like three more minutes, player. You ain't even got no question. You just want to talk. My point is, there are some people out there that need to get at you right now. I, I You know, I play a lot. I crack a lot. But uh, my cash out feature ain't going nowhere. Wait a minute. I got to check the amount. It's probably... Enough to get me another PT cruiser. Guys, I have to go, man. Uh, it is 9.08. I don't see it on your about me. Well, I need to fix that. 
Okay, I need to fix that. Uh, thank you, Jeremy. Uh, and that is why you have mechanic as friends. Uh, pick up the damn phone and call. <laughs> and you know the thing, I don't really. Here's here's how this work. You click the feature. Of course, you donate. Your reply to me is basically your phone number or your email. And I'll may either start the conversation off with a text message. Now, you know what I'm saying? I either start it off with a text message or I'll call you, depending on what I'm doing. Some The, the ladies want to be talked to, okay? They can't understand the mumble jumbo mechanical terminology I use via text. So they, there's one lady, I'm here at Pep Boys, and they telling me my transmission is not doing such and such. And what you think? I say, ma'am. Ask them such and such and such. And so she got me on the phone talking to the service manager. Yeah, this is my husband. <laughs> I am. $20. Yeah, you're my damn husband. You'll be whatever I need you to be. Shut up and do what I tell you. Yes, this is my husband. He's told me to ask you, uh, was it leaking? So we go through with the plan and blah, 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 blah. But women need to be pampered, you know. Okay, man. What else do you need me to do? I have no problem with that. but uh, for for some most people I text will communicate via text, but some people either way it don't it don't matter to me. Um, but like I say, the donation let me lets me know fair to know that you serious about. Um, because you can get in the comment section and ask the very same question. The only downside to that is who knows when I'll see it. I just saw a comment the other day. Oh man, you big time now. You can't even answer my question no more, bro. I just saw it. All right. My comments, oh my goodness, yeah, it's crazy, man. But um, anyway, that's how it is. Uh, that's how it be sometimes. Like, I need to go. All these just popped up comments on videos, previous videos I just put up. Like, when you answer them, they go away. See, I'll be strolling for days. All of these are comments and uh, you know, questions basically. Uh, some technicians say uh, transmission. Some of them are wise guys. Some of them are whatever. Just steam clean the engine reply. It's cool as you mean. Dermot. Here go another one. Pissed off because I keep calling it Dermot and not the right way. Uh, great job, brother. I had issues. Thanks for your help. I get that a lot. I have no I, I have no problem with any. I have no problem with any comments, good or bad. I chuckle at the funny bad ones because they really try to come at me like that. I'm like, you sure this what you want? All right, because I'm going to cut you in the comment section. I'm not going to block you. There's nothing you can say to make me block you. I'm only going to block you if you defend, if you offend, you know, other people. I got to go, man. Um, So, Eric Motion, what's up, man? Role play. <laughs> Later, JT69 Dark Man. That's what's up, man. Check your PayPal. I will. I will check out. Now you're scaring me. See if something changed without me knowing. I don't see it on you about me. All right. Fluff dog. Appreciate that. I will be looking into that. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate that. Uh, big blocks, man. I can't do this, man. Four, 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 five, four, five. What would you recommend for a fuel system cleaner that can be poured into the tank? All of that stuff, main objective is to, uh, uh, yeah, clean your injectors. The thing about it is, Here's the problem I have with fuel injection cleaner in a can. They uh, on the, most of the instruction they instruct you to pour it in a full tank of gas, which means it's gonna dilute. I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna spread out over the masses of fuel that's already in it, which is gonna take forever to get to it. However, it will be a slow cleaning process, as opposed to being on E putting that in there, it's getting down to the injectors quick. But I have no opinion on this, my friend. Uh, I don't know which one the best. Uh, I'm assuming they all similar. Okay, I can't really tell you which one the best. They all very, very similar. They get down there and uh, clean out the ports and the injector to help your car run better. So as far as which one is best, uh, I have no idea, my friend. Okay, uh, make sure you got it in lunch money, bro. <laughs> yes, all right, guys, I got to go. That's all I have. I see y'all Thursday. I think Fluff come on at Saturday evening. So if y'all up late, I let my dude, man. Uh, he be up all times of night. Wait a minute, man. It'd be like two o'clock in the morning, man. Oh, goodness, man. I be trying to hang around. I be trying to stay up. 
Stay up, damn fluff, you be all way lazy. I work on Saturdays. I don't know about y'all, but um, uh, yeah, I gotta work on Saturdays. Don't leave. I gotta go, Mr. Finance. Guys, uh, it might be enough for uh, double cheat. <laughs> so, okay, all right, I'll do that. I'll check. You telling me to check? That's what's up, man. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see y'all Sunday. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in.